The main payload aboard the Delta V rocket when it launched on Wednesday was the U.S. military space plane X. 37B, which is on its fourth secretive long-term mission. The reusable unmanned mini shuttle is designed to land as an ordinary plane. Its mission is classified, but is believed to be testing of new technologies. The rocket also carried CubeSat, a small satellite no larger than a loaf of bread, designed by a non-profit organization, the Planetary Society. Its CEO, Bill Nye, says it will test whether solar light can be used as a propulsion force for space travel. This may seem incredible at first, but it is nevertheless true that sunlight or light has momentum, even though it has no mass. Photons have no mass. They still impart momentum when they strike an object. What? You're kidding. No, but it's a tiny, tiny amount of momentum. Nevertheless, if you have a big enough sail, as we call it, and a low enough mass bus or spacecraft, it will get a push. Scientists believe that this inexpensive means of propulsion will make space exploration more affordable for universities and even private individuals. Unfurling the 32-square-meter Mylar sail, just one quarter as thick as the human hair, worked perfectly in the lab, but Nye says deploying it in orbit will be critical. This first time out is a test. The big question, from an engineering standpoint, not a physics standpoint, is getting the sails to deploy. This is where everything goes wrong. The Planetary Society reported that the mini-satellite reached its orbit and that all systems aboard are healthy. After deployment, scheduled for mid-June, the solar sail will be visible from the Earth. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.